So we have a graph, and we're supposed to write down the three pieces that make this up. I think the easiest piece is going to be the middle one. That's not the marker I want. The middle one right here. Uh, the reason I'm going to choose it is because it's a horizontal line. So the line is y equals 4. All the points on the line have a y value of 4. And what about the x values? Let's look at those. Negative 1 to positive, I'll circle those, negative 1 to positive 2. And that's negative 1 to positive 2. So this is the piece that we're working on now. And the function is just 4. It's not changing. It's just f of x equals 4. And now we'll erase that. And that's that part. Now we'll go to the two lines that are not horizontal. And I guess we'll just go left to right. We'll start with this line over here. And how shall we describe it? There's a few ways to do it. We need the slope and either a y-intercept or any point. This doesn't have a y-intercept on it, so we're going to go with two points instead. Uh, and the point slope form, let's see, point slope form uh, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. All right, written like that. You can, of course, add y1 to the other side. All right, so we're going to have to get this slope first. All right, so we have one point there. Now there's, obviously there's points all over this, but where's an easy point? To me, that's the, that's the wise point to choose. I'll take that back so you can see it's very, at least it's very obvious to me, it's right on the intersection of those two right there. The next point, just to be safe, would be there. All right, so let's think about slope here. So you always want to think to the right. This is 2 to the right, and then 3 up. And again, 2 to the right, 3 up. I checked two different places for the slope, so I'm pretty confident it is rise over run. And it'll be 3 over 2. So we went up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2. All right, so that's slope. So we're ready to plug that in for m. But we also need a point. It can be any point, any x1, y1. All right, let's write down any point we want. I have have three of them here. None of them have a y-coordinate of zero, so the, I guess I'll just choose the one in the middle. Uh, it is negative three, positive two. Let's see, double check that. Negative three for x, positive two for y. Okay, so we're gonna take both of these, plug in right here. So make sure you have your equation ready. You're going to plug the values into. Do not plug in the values and write the equation for the first time on your paper. Make sure you've written the original equation and then plugged in values. Here's our slope. Minus x1 is minus negative 3. Uh, plus 2. And you could distribute this right here, but... It's not really going to get much better, so I think this is a fine solution right here. Uh, let's see, we need to plug that in right here. All right, so that should be this line. Again, it's negative 6 to negative 1, which is exactly the x-coordinates that we were looking at. Uh, all right, so looks like we have a problem, but if you look carefully... The point that they used on this one would be negative 1, positive 5. Remember, the x is the opposite as it appears. Just like ours, our x value is negative 3, and it shows up as positive 3. All right, so the point they used was negative 1, 5. So it would be that one right there. So again, ours is equivalent, and we'll be fine. All right, last part, 2 to 6. Here we go, positive two, positive six, it's on the right. It looks like we have a problem here, but, uh, so this does keep going. How far does it go? Does it go forever or not? We can see right here, it's gonna stop when x is six. 
So it won't go forever. Uh, however, I don't know exactly where that point is down there, so let's not use it. We do have one clear point at 2, 3. Where's the next clear point? You might be able to go with that, but the Y value looks like it's a half, so I'm not going to use that point. How about that one right there? looks perfect. So this one is 4, negative 2. That'll be our X1, Y1. I'm not sure why I wanted to use that one. I realize the other one has positive coordinates, but too late. It's already written. Can't change it. Okay. We need the slope, and then we're going to reuse that form right there. So let's write that form. Uh, slope. All right. Remember, this is a rise over run. So how much are we going up and over? We only have two points here. We're not going up. Uh, we're going down five from three to negative two and over two. Now, technically, I could go down five and over two, and I should be right at that point there. And if you look, at, it looks like that would be the point we would stop on. This would keep going. All right, so we're going rise negative five, run two. So it's negative five halves and ready to plug everything in. Slope. Now it's X minus four plus negative two or minus two. So they used, let's think about what X or Y values they used. So let's see the Y value is pretty clear, three. X value, positive 2. So these are the point 2, 3, which should be 2, 3, the point I mentioned wanting to use but didn't use. We used that one right there, and it works. All right, that should get you all three pieces.